What's going on guys? This is Redman Iron Body McKinney. And today I want to talk about my viewpoint on deliberate manifesting. How do I view it as? I see it kind of like a like a put on a VR helmet and then the external world animates after putting that on. That's just kind of an analogy of how I see it. But I see it more from a but not like this artificial simulation kind of way of seeing it. That's just that's just an example of that's just a viewpoint of how I see it. I think of my physical body as like yes, the living temple of the living spirit within it. Projecting outward through the ears, eyes, nostrils, mouth, and all those sensory factors, sensory faculties that we have. Now when it comes to like, like deliberate manifesting, deliberate manifesting does not mean for sins to happen. You're never gonna, it does appear, it appears sometimes that you have to force things to happen, but it really comes down, it's it's allowing things to happen. Being in, recept, in a receptive attitude of mind, that's already yours. And when you're moving through space, the physical space, through a, a seemingly linear time, that's just the, that's just your subconscious assumptions just directing you, directing all thought and action to the fulfillment of what you embody within you. Everything's a mirror, guys. One of Neville's quotes that I really love is, your world, or the world, is a mirror forever reflecting what you're doing with inside yourself, which to me is deep, deep within your within your subconscious mind. And whatever you assume to be true, to boldly assume, to move into the bold assumption of that which you claim to be true about yourself will inevitably manifest. Say like this video right here. There's a, there's a subconscious assumption, there's a part of your subconscious assumption that you've manifested this video. I'm running in the dark, with a cowboy hat on around 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, there's a part of you that subconsciously assumed this video, even though if it was unconscious. I literally see it as just tuning into realities, guys. There's no such thing as, phys as a linear external space or time. It's all contained within you guys. Everyone and everything is yourself pushed out, relatively speaking. The people you meet, the habits you acquire, all those things. All, everything is an assumption and you can change them. Let's stop focusing on outward assumptions, seeing, judging based on outward appearances and let's focus on inner assumptions changing those inner assumptions to empower ones. So yeah, that's basically <laughs> this whole video of how I see deliberate manifesting. And I also heard, this while I'm speaking of space and time, there's no such thing as space or time outside of you. You're giving life to time. You're giving life to everything you see. You're like when you're watching this video here, you're animating this video. You're giving life to this video. You're giving life to everything you put your awareness on. You're putting your awareness into this video and you're animating it. But everything outside of your awareness is dead. Because you're not tuned into the reality with your state of consciousness. And consciousness is the one and only true reality that exists. To be still. And, you know, the be still and know 
that I am that which I claim to be. To be still. When you arrest the activity in your mind, a section of you, a section of your mind, that outward activity freezes. And this was, this one comes down to deep meditation. You know, you've, you've heard people experience time differently and all that. Where it's like, time seems to slow down or speed up for some people. That's what it is. The activity of your mind. And your awareness. Your observe, the observer, which is God. Or your awareness of being, which is God or goddess. That's what renders your mind the activity of your mind. When you have control of your mind, you have control of your life. Literally. Whether it's some kind of, maybe some kind of germ outside of you seemingly floating around. It's all within you guys. Nothing can harm you outside of you. Unless if you accept it, that's true within your world. So yeah, that's how I see this whole deliberate manifesting thing. It's a beautiful way to see it. So, I hope this video helps. I bless you all. And happy manifesting.